check it out. Look, I can dance with my CBR 1000. Double R. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Psycho Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Continually video suggestions, but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at psychocruiser.com and click on the menu tab my videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. Long term review on my Bursic Center lift stand that is holding up my lovely CBR 1000. Devil Ah! I've owned this stand for over a year now. I first used it with my former Ducati X Diablo S. Absolutely love the stand. It's well built, 100% made in Germany. It's not cheap, but you get what you pay for. Uh, you do have to purchase a stand and the adapter plate separately. You have to purchase the adapter plate that is specific for your bike. This is my old X Diablo plate, and it also comes with a sleeve as well that you see here. And all you do basically is you remove the bolt from this from here and you insert the sleeve and tighten it to spec. And basically, this plate here, this bottom pin slides in here. See that hole there? And then this, this part here will slide into the sleeve. And then you just jack the bike up. And uh, what's really awesome about this stand is that you don't have, see with the front rear stand here, you have this all that you can, I trip on this sometimes. It's irritating, man. You got this, it takes up extra space. You can't maneuver the bike. What this is awesome is that once you unlock the we caster wheels here, it has two locks there. You can spin this around, man. You can move this all around so easy. Look at that. But uh, this is absolutely a must for those of you that have multiple bikes and a smaller garage like I have here. So when I want to get my Aprilia out of here, which by the way, this came just came back from the shop and I can't wait to ride it. Woo! I can't wait to ride that V4, baby. We got power. Oh, we got power. <laughs> We got power, guys! But anyways, when I want to get ready to ride it, I just move my CBR out of the way. But I, you know, after I ride her, then I get, I come back and ride my CBR, and of course my WR and YZ. A good day for me is to ride all my bikes in one day. And that's a happy good day for me, baby. But, yes, this sand is so amazing. And, uh, you know, I like to do long-term reviews on all of my stuff over the years, as some of you know, you know, my gear, motorcycle stuff. This Harbor Freight lift table was absolutely amazing, <laughs> less than $300 when you cut one of those coupons out of the magazine, absolutely fantastic. Uh, you can buy it on Amazon too, by the way, that's why I'll include a link uh, to the Bursic stand and adapter plate, which you'll have to get, you have to select specific for your bike. But also I'll include a link to uh, the stand, the same stand as they sell at Harbor Freight, but you can have it delivered to your door. So it's very convenient for those of you. It's a, believe me, it is a real hassle to go to Harbor Freight and put this in your truck or van like I did. I'll, I'll go check out the video I did, the initial review I did this, where I pulled that wood box out of my um, van. It was they had to take a forklift and put the box into my van. And then I had a heck of a time trying to get that out, man. This thing is heavy. So it is so much easier having this delivered to your door. Like I said, I'll include a link to that in the description and comment section of the video along with the stand. And these older stands, too, I'll include links to. These, these stands I've had for years, uh, and they're inexpensive, man, but they are high quality. As you see, my bike is on there solid, 100% solid. You could do fork service on this as well because it, it's lifted up by the... It's, uh, by the pin which is inserted into the triple tree there so you can easily you know take the forks off of this if you want to um, but like I said the bikes you have to take the time to put the rear stand on then the front stand the bike you can't move it around enough that's why I said this bike this stand here is so amazing uh, like I said because it's so awesome just move I love that look I can dance with my bike baby yeah <laughs> yeah baby I love it Easily do the oil change, fork service, take the rear wheel off, work on the bike. Ah, awesome stand, man. Absolutely amazing. It has two levels, by the way. This is the, this is the highest level. And then there, there's another level. 
This takes it a little bit lower. Then of course, then it drops down to the ground and you just simply slide the pins out, move the uh, stand away and put the kickstand down. It's as simple as that. And then to you know, put the stand on the bike, like I said, it just takes a few seconds. You just uh, put your kickstand up, hold the bike, slide the pins in, and then jack the stand up. Bada boom, bada bang. That's it. That's all it takes. So I highly recommend this, guys. Highly recommend this. Uh, but it's nice to have both, to be honest with you, because when I have this up here on the stand, obviously I can't use the Bursic stand on the Harbor Freight lift. So I have to use my old stands. So these still come in handy, especially for the Harbor Freight lift there. But, uh, oh man, I'm loving it. Uh, and as far as a dirt bike stand, for those of you that have a dual sport or a dirt bike and you're looking for an awesome stand, I'll tell you, this is the stand you want to get here, which I'll include a link to in the description and comment section of the video. Uh, oh, I can't ride, wait to ride my, what, my 2019 YZ450 FX Supermoto, baby! Oh, baby! <laughs> this thing is crazy, man! Can't wait to ride her like the WR 250R baby 3.0. We got to do some stair action. <laughs> oh man! Oh man! Look at that. Yeah, you got the controls on the bar pad there. Look at all the mods, the new wheels, baby. Look at that. Look at the wheels, DID, baby, STXs, custom. Woo! And I got a trail, a secret trail that I'm going to go on with the bike. So look forward to that, guys. It's a secret trail, man. But, uh, Bursic stand here, baby. Woo-hoo-hoo! -hoo! I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Absolutely amazing. By the way, if you want to get some inexpensive garage cabinets that are amazing, um, I just put these up not too long ago. These are absolutely awesome. Check that out. The door stays up. You can put all your stuff in. It's got the corner cabinet, which holds a lot of stuff. That's where I have my motorcycle straps in. Uh, awesome, man. This desk here. Awesome. If you go to my website at cyclecruiser.com and you click on my garage stuff, like all the stuff you see in my garage is there, links to everything. And I tell you, this, oh, I love this uh, trailer. This fold up trailer, as you can see, it takes up very little space. And uh, I just use it for the Aprilia. I use it for the CBR, WR, and I'll tell you guys, this thing is absolutely amazing. It makes trailering a bike very simple and easy. I did a full review on it, so you might want to go check that out. I'm going to do another uh, long term review on this. I've had this for a while now. And I'm going to, there's some tricks that I'm going to show you on how to use this really easy man it literally takes less than 10 minutes to load and strap the bike up um, and look it takes so little space in the garage it's amazing link to this in the description and comment section of the video now my channel is all about trying different stuff different motorcycles different types of motorcycles you know motorcycle stuff here the trailer you know odd stuff that you, other channels simply don't do I like to do anything and everything motorcycles, guys. Test it out, let you know what is good and what's not good. And uh, so stick with my channel, subscribe, hit that, smash that subscribe button to get more videos. I do at least four videos a week and have been doing it for years. I got over 1,300 videos, guys. Like I said, I do it all, baby. I got, I got Supermoto, dirt bike, dual sport, super sport, super bike. Uh, street fighters in the past I did scooters I may get another scooter that maybe I add to the garage I do it all baby I love it all this is this is I'm a kid in a candy store with this stuff man <laughs> but anyways for those of you guys that want to get my motorcycle gear you know my camel pants my leather jackets pants boots gloves my cameras all my stuff I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos or go to my website, cyclecruiser.com, and click on the menu tab, My Gear, and that's links to all my stuff. Hit thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe, and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. 
subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bugout Moto.